What up, it's your boy T Bear here with a new reaction. So I'm gonna finally see, finally find my answer and see, and, and now I can finally see what this thing I got against the butt, whole whole trend of the, of the dead body though. Thanks for a friend that talked that responded to one of my posts on my Facebook about the whole thing though. Like I went with the Tower of Madness, bro. Like asking which way to prefer if they got got the same quality or anything. But they had the dad dad bar or the got or the dad bar or the fit bar or whatever. So I mean, she broke it down like it's really like one person said the strong is like they'll put prefer the fit bar, but mostly you should pick the girl that um respects what you do and not sell for the dad bar. So like she gave me some good pearls like I sh like maybe it just like. So the girls who saying they they are attracted to the dad bod or anything, maybe I should not worry about them because obviously most of the time they're just insecure, insecure or they got a different, wrong perspective of guys who's who's fit, who's getting, who's hardworking and fit and um uh, working out to get their way at or they at where they at and try to maintain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna grab the old the old um. Article about when they said why girls like love the dad bod, and I'm gonna add my rebuttal to each answer they have. So let me bring it back up right here. So yeah, so the first answer right here, I'm gonna, um, I can somehow make this thing like bigger so I can see it, but not cover my whole face. Or oh, I can just zoom it in on my own, or I can zoom in a little bit. I'm saying, there we go. Let's see if it does that for y'all. Hmm. Helped a little bit. So the first answer they said was, um, don't mind it. Hold up. Hmm. Close these and, and advertise won't be in the goddamn way. That actually might better might actually be better and I can zoom it up a little better. So let me see. Yeah, much better. So if you see the answers here though, first of all, here's the title of it though. Like I said, the the first guy on the left on the left side. That's not, I'm not calling that dad by the way. He actually seemed pretty fit, just not ripped. In the middle, kind of in between, but the, the right is definitely it. It's like they're going three shades of bad dad bods. So here's a breakdown of why the girls say they literally prefer the, the dad bods over it, over the fit bods. So say, one, so the first one said, it doesn't intimidate us. Few things are worse than taking a picture in a bathing suit, one being being taking a picture in a bathing suit with a guy who's crazy fit. We don't we don't want a guy that makes us feel insecure about our body. We are insecure enough as it is. We don't need a perfectly sculpted guy standing next to us to make us feel worse. See this my rebuttal on that one. This sounds very insecure on your part right there. So you're actually you're just telling me that you're that's insecure that you don't want somebody that's very sculpting and fit though, because you want to be the the better half, sound like as well. Which go to the second the second one, we're not gonna get to yet. My thing is, would you want somebody like that? Sitting some, so you might want somebody like that, because somebody like that may is it may not be insecure, may be not intimidating for you. They could actually be a little more a little motivating for you. Which I'm gonna get to as well too in the last part. They said right here though, like. Or I mean, or like y'all, like they talk about Steve Harvey, what um, think like a man talking about how guys like have the trophy woman, the trophy wife. That could be a trophy right there. If the, if you want to put it like that, though, be happy you got the sculpted guy. Be, like, and also nine times out of ten, the guys who have sculpted it and everything, or not nine times, maybe play this half of the time. They could have. Got in shape just to get close to you. Because they want to look good for you, maybe. I mean, it's for health reasons as well, but they probably could have did it just for you. Now think about that as well. They could have lived, they could have done this hard work to impress you. But you want to feel insecure. That's not fair. Next one says, we like being the pretty one. Again, I'm going to read it up. We love people saying they look cute together. Be, but we still like being the center of attention. Want to look skinny and the bigger and the bigger guy and and bigger the guy, the smaller we feel and better we look next to we even a picture. For one, not Tom Ten, the fit guy will still be bigger than you, because he's gonna be probably taller than you and was muscular and still bigger than you. And if you're if you're bigger in size, 
be the, be happy the fact that a guy is not that insecure, not that so superficial or whatever, or I can't think of the word other word is. He's not that self centered, or whatever, to not date somebody of your size. Think about that as well. I mean, the most of the guy fit guys will date other fit girls and smaller girls. But if you, if a fit guy is dating you and you're not as fit, that says a lot about you and the person you are. That's what that say a lot about the person you are. That he likes the person you are. He don't give a damn if you're fit or not. And also again, that can be your trophy right there. You pull a guy that's muscular that most. He, that you pull him over the you he picked you over the skinny baggy or the fit fit barb though think about that as well and also again brings back to me saying he could be the motivation of you want to get your body right as well if you feel like you need something to get your body right and you feel and you feel as a cur about your body he could be the motivator for you he can encourage you to help you get your body right the guy with the dad bod is not gonna encourage you. He's gonna let you, he's gonna let you be where you are. I mean, it's good to like who you are, but if you want to get your body right, that the fit guy is more of a motivation than the dad bod, in my opinion. Now the other one is the cuddle. No one wants to cuddle with a rock or egg cullin the end. Now this one I can't defend too much though. But I'm not gonna say that, but you can but I can send that more meat or more fluff me cuddles. Same for those guys as well too. But it's still skin. Now I mean it's it's still skin. It's not it's not an actual rock. You're not gonna feel a hard rock actually a hard not it's not gonna be hard as this table or nothing like that. It's still skin. It's still gonna be warm and cuddly. It's too it, two skinny people can cuddle with two skinny people can cuddle with each other. Then you can cuddle with this so you can cuddle with a fit person. Alright? It's not like that's gotta that's I mean I understand cuddling is better or more work if you more got more, you know, fatness to you or more slickness or plush to you. But it's not like if you cuddle with a skinny girl or a, or a or a skinny dude, you're gonna feel bone. You may not whatever, but it's still warm. Cause it's two bodies covered together. And if you have much you have to care that much, get a damn blanket around each other. How about that? Maybe that's helpful, right? That's the other thing. Next one, good eats. The dad by said he doesn't meal prep every Sunday. So if you want to go to Taco on Tuesday or four pitch Wednesday, he's totally he'd be totally down. He's not scared of cheap meal because he eats just about everything. And that's another, another, another stereotype. Just because we're fit, we we have cheap cheap meals. We do have our days to do cheat days, or we like to have a cheat meal to get out of the way. The cheat meal, the cheat, having a cheat meal is a way for us to eat, still eat what we like. Sometimes that's not good for us, but we won't to just to cover to stop us to stop us from having a binge attack or curve a craving we might have as well too. Like me. I don't like, I'm trying to not eat a lot of carbs a lot, but the, well, I like pancakes sometimes, so sometimes I'll do one pancake a day, one pancake for breakfast, just to, curve, to take care of that, that's about it. Or, I haven't had sushi in a while, and last night I had a spicy shrimp roll, but I got judged for it because, because of me avoiding the dead body and the time of the day I have it, alright? That's my thing right there, that's stereotypical and judgmental right there. There are guys, I think there's guys who are more in shape than me. Like, uh, I can always like doing this. Always gotta keep doing this, but I'm gonna keep doing it. Like, like me. I'm not, I'm a little bit, I got a little bit of, not ripness, but I'm more fit though. I'm not no dad by none of that. See, I'm pretty fit. I mean, I'm pretty fit. Not ripped though, but not, but not no dad by that. You know what I'm saying? Or unless you, like I say, I'm, I'm more like the guy on the left though. That's why I say he's not a dad by. He's fit, but not ripped. But it's guys who are more ripped than me. Now I mean, who looks like Ed Cohen or looks like The Rock, who eats who eats drugs at times, not all the time, but we eat drugs once in a blue moon. Cause they cur they curbing that they curbing that that um uh, craving. Cause they work hard enough, they deserve they earned it. Okay, 
So, the, 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 so the guy who was ripped and muscular will still go to Taco Tuesday with you. Just to have a taco. Alright? If he doesn't do that, respect his decision. That's the other thing, too. Don't just cause a guy if a guy don't want to eat this and that because he's trying he's trying not to he's avoiding something for his certain health, his certain his, his workout resume or his healthy eating resume, respect that. Respect it, respect it. Okay? Leave him, let him be. Don't judge him. Don't downplay him. Respect it. You know, plenty of times, because I know plenty of times myself, I eat a little something healthier than usual or anything. I have my coworkers downplay me for eating it to help this eat something that's healthy. Like I mean, because I'm eating plant or anything. I mean, I understand some I will report like I try to the kale chips and that's the nastiest shit ever. But I eat like healthy and all that. I'm always getting always getting played around with the jokes sometimes. Or then and then why I actually eat something bad, I get like, oh, is this something you should be eating? No, we don't need that kind of judgment right there. All right. Let us live our lives too as well too. This shit is a struggle. This is this is not easy for us. All right, you see other people that doesn't that doesn't shame or anything. It's, it's not easy for to get to get in shape. Trust me. All right, we go. We have our little ups and downs too. Some that that's ripped had a little downtime when he was still fit, but wasn't as ripped as well too. I mean, actually, I was more in shape than this before, but I had a little downtime because uh, had to take care of, take care of some things too as well too. That's the other thing. But I understand. But maybe that man somewhat fall into the reason why they want dad by Brian. Right, but don't say dad bods are more attractive than the fit bod. That's the other thing. And the last one, this would get. This is like, what the fuck? This is fucked up. You know what you're getting. Guys, girls tend to picture their future together with their guys early on. We understand that part. Therefore, if you already had a dad bod going on, we can use to it before we date him, marry him, and have three kids. We know what we get into when he got the same sex type bite. At age 22, and that he's going to have an age 45. What the fuck does him having a body of a 40 year old at 22 got something to do with what he's going to be like in the future? Because, not put like this assholes, jerks, forgive me, ladies, saying this word, bitch, dickheads, cunts, comes in all shapes, size, color, pretty and ugly. Trust me. So with guys are saying the girls don't want they don't want a girl because the pretty because the pretty girls are stuck up. There's other girls are just more stuck up than them. Same for guys. This is more uh, ugly asshole than pretty assholes. All right. There's also uh, some guys who are sweetheart and good guys that are look that are good looking, and as well as the ones that's ugly. Same for the girls. There's some good some good girls that are pretty just as the ugly ones. All right. And is there there's a good person and a big guy as well as good person is good girls and a fit guy and a fit girl as well as in a big guy and a big girl or a dad by etc. And there are fit guys, muscular guys, and whatever that are good that are good husband and good dads as well. Trust me, I know them I know one personal in particular I can think of who's like the best dad, he's a good dad and a good husband. To where that he encouraged his kids to get fit and get in shape as well, as well as his wife. His he got his wife on a journey. She, she's on a she's on a journey. She's not as fit as hell, but she's wanted she want to get there. All right, he's encouraging her to get fit. That's what like you want you you want you should want a you should want somebody who's going to motivate you, not let you let you let you. Do whatever you want, not I mean. I mean, it's not, it's not a problem for that, but if it's close to like not getting in shape and all of that, you want somebody to motivate you to get yourself in shape. You should want somebody to, to help, you should have somebody to be an example for you to get your butt up and work out and get, your, and get yourself healthy. That's why. I got a thing for fit chicks as well too. As well, I got like uh, like my thick girls, big girls as well too. But I got a thing for thick chicks as fit chicks as well too. Cause I want that type. Of, Cause they more be like the, my fit crushes, not just crushes. I like cause they think they look good. They are my motivation. They are my motivation to work my ass off and keep myself in shape or anything too. Well, I feel like letting them look like they like my like I want to challenge them. That I would like to do the workout they think they can do. Cause they, they like they do stuff that they feel like guys can't do because they 
they're um arrogant and too good to do it. I'm gonna do that fucking workout. Like my my one my fit uh oh, I'm gonna bring her up too. I'm gonna bring her up. I'm gonna bring her up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna bring her up. I'm gonna bring her up too. Her name is Bodyguard. Her name is Tasha the Bodyguard. This girl put in work. This girl puts in work. All right. This girl puts in work. I'm gonna bring her up on my Instagram. She's my Instagram friend, fan. Now, I mean, I did check her out because she had a nice little booty. But she, she, she knows that. She, she knows that there are people checking her out for a booty, but also they know that she, she works a bus off as well too. She's not just all about showing off a booty. She works her ass off. Let me say, this is me, Tasha. The I'm about to make her viral again. She already viral. She already viral right now because she had a, a video of her working out by pushing a um. Pushing the car from behind, though. But if you saw that video, that's her. But this is her. This is Tasha. This is Tasha right here. This is Tasha. See this? I'm pushing and say, oh, she looking. Look, he's looking at the ass. Well, you see, but it ain't just about the ass. See the determination she got through working now. That is motivation for me right there. Like you don't see many girls do that. All you see most of the girls are just showing off their body or show pictures of them working out. But she's showing her actual res workout resume and, how and working hard. Let me see another. Let me find and see if I have another video she did of her her own her crazy workouts. Like, look at this. Look at this. Like, look at this. Right here. If I can bring it up, not this dude. All right, stressing or anything. Look at that. Like, come on. That that is something. That's some awesome old It ain't just about oh, just look at her booty. She mean she she probably doing it just. The show the booty too, but she's also showing like a girl well girl that thick can work her ass off. You ain't gotta be no skinny mini thick girl at that as well, too. See? That's some that's some hard work right there. But if 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 come if y'all think I'm showing show I'm showing just for ad her ass though, I'm gonna bring up another fit fit babe that is definitely uh motivating to me. Her name is Eve Heba Ali. You all should know who she is. I call her explosive babe. This is this is her right here. You see this shit she do? I'm gonna show you some of the shit she does. See this shit? Lifting 315 deadlift a day. 290. She's going for 290 in the. I think that's like my just about my max there. Working her ass up. And it, this is just just her heavy work. Look at this shit. Shit. I don't. I'm not into these figures because they just look good and they got a nice body. They are more motivation right here. I'm not sure why this move is slow. I got, I got too much going on, but yeah. Look at that. Push them damn tire up there. That's more of a fucking invasion right there. Alright? So this is this that's my thing about the whole dead bods over fit bod. You might want the fit bod to be encouraging to you. To um get to get yourself in shape as well too. But if you just lazy and you don't care about getting in shape, maybe the dad boss for you. Maybe you're you're better off with the dad boss. How about that? Maybe you're better off with the dad boss because you yourself don't believe in yourself and getting yourself in shape. You just wanna you want somebody you wanna be more. It's more of, a, of an insecurity and dominance thing for you. You want somebody that you look better. You look better than and all of that. Instead of being so with somebody, not cause you look better. You look good with them, cause you look good with them. You might want a soul, a swole mate. Matter of fact, you might want a swole mate. And let me show you a perfect example of two swole mates right here. And the they're, they're, and the lady of the swole mate are my are my fit babies as well too. Two. Let me see. They then maybe. You, you you want a dad bod because you're lazy and you don't want to work out. Maybe you don't want to be a swole mate like her. You don't want to be swole like mate Mike. You won't, don't want to be a swole mate like her. Or let me bring up another good swole mate right there. I'm gonna include my fit base on this one. Yeah, I'm having a brain fart on the last one. I'm the one I don't want to show you, but yeah, where she at? There she go. Um. Kathy Drake and her husband. Let's see. Find a picture of her and her husband. That's a video though. I'm gonna try and find good a good couple picture of them though. They're they're good together. They're that's a power couple right there. Alright. Well let me um let's see. Let me do this again. I'm gonna um I'll say I'm gonna bring up both 
I'm gonna bring them both up too. I'm I'm they fit all right as pop as um swole mates and I mean because that's where you should be. Like, I mean, you should be each other mate. You should should be should be each other should be each other's um expert each other's um motivation and there as and somewhat inspiration as well too. Again, just like. Like the other pictures look a little too much skin. I ain't trying to expose them like that. And like they fucking know they just they just got they just they're career physique models. That's why, that's the thing. They're physique models and um. All right, I don't, I can't find a uh, like I'm trying to find a couple of uh for Kate Kathy Drayton though, but she's another fit swole mate though. But yeah, here you go, here you go. So I find my, my um browsing one of one freezer. But yeah, but yeah, check this out. Check this out right here. So, like I said, if you don't wanna, you don't wanna be all in shape and everything. You wanna say that that's fine. That's fine with you. All right. That shows you that you you're just settling in because you too lazy to work out or get in shape. You just want to add body. You feel like you feel that. But in my opinion, you should be more patient. You should be more patient yourself and be a a, a power couple. No matter you ain't gotta be again. You ain't gotta be skinny, mini, ripped though. You can be thick and Thick and thick in, in shape like by God told I showed you as well as but it won't be a soulmate like these couples Kate, Kathy Drayton and Luther Freeman or Miss Um Ami Fit and her husband her husband as well too like I said and I want to show a good example as well too because I'm gonna show you an example also of that you don't that you don't gotta be super skinny to be fit all right. You don't gotta be super skinny to be fit. I'm gonna show you one and the other. I'm gonna show you one and I'm gonna show you the other as well too. That just cause you just cause you're skinny, just cause you're skinny doesn't mean just cause you're skinny, just cause you're, you're not skinny doesn't mean you're gonna be fit right here. I'll show you by guy. Let me tell you good two good examples of fit, thick and fit right here. Here. This first one right here, Miss Bond. You see that, right? A lot of legs, right? But you see, she puts in work. See that? She puts in work. Too many niggas be hating on me. Right. Too many niggas be scheming on me. Start it wasn't sense, so I keep it on me. Look, shout it bad, I had to go down. I drop a song and then I sell a pound. I drop the tape and then I start you know a pound. She said I fuck with you. I said I know. I just you gotta be super ripped. You gotta be super slim and ripped. You can be thick and ripped. Thick and then fit as well too. Like my other one, this is an apart and she was known in an oracle as one of the three others for being the the what do you call fit and fluffy, aka 20, 20, 200 plus club. She's two hundred pounds for fit. And she puts in work. Shout out to Renee Miller and all of them. Alright? So again. The whole thing about dad's bods being more attractive than the fit bod is seen like more of the insecurity of the ladies who wear to sell with for dad bods and it's, it's very insecure and stereotypical about about us by the fit guys who they stereotypically think all fit guys are jerky and insecure or whatever. Maybe but not all. There are guys are good guys are fit guys as well too. And there's got and then also shows insecurity because you want to sell for the, the you want to sell for the uh, the dad bods because you're insecure about your own body where he could where the fit body could be a motivation for you to get to put in work though and also with the fit guys dating you over any other girl that means something that he likes you more than just your body he don't give a damn about your fit body all right and he gonna be your motivation to get if you're that insecure he can be your motivation. To work out and get your body right. That's all I said, and that's that's my and the beef, beef is done with the whole dead body. My beef is done to have the whole dead body. I said what I had to say about it. All right. So I sorry it was being a long video, but I had to get this out and had to throw some good examples as well too. So if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.